a while back, I put my trailer gearbox to the test. I wanted to see if there was any difference in operation between either one. This is aluminum and this is a polymer. I found out real quick that, <laughs> that there was a difference. The aluminum one held up really well and the polymer one, it, unfortunately, it, it failed, it, it, it broke. I talked with Trailer Gearbox and uh, they sent me some brand new gear. So we're gonna tear this thing apart and we're gonna fix it. The case comes apart fairly easy. I just use a couple of uh, five and one tools and just kind of wedge it apart and it comes right out of there. Let's see it's broken right there. Uh, the trailer gearbox sent me a little bag of new gears. It had a manufacturer's defect on, on the small gear. That's why the polymer case failed when I did the test. I'll put a little grease on there. Very cool, very simple design. Simple is always better. So that fix didn't take long at all, maybe 15 minutes, but I love, I love a company that stands behind their products, man. Cause uh, if they stand behind it, I stand behind it. I know there's no issue down the road. If something happens, I can call them. I can get a replacement part. I can fix it myself, no problems. So if you don't have electric or hydraulic jacks on your trailer and you wanna automate it, dude, this is absolutely the best way to go. Boom, trailer gearbox.